Hey, I'm Spoonie Chad, and after my first fully stock A10 video, I had a lot of people telling me to make a modded version. So I have downloaded BD Armory, Airplanes Plus, Procedural Wings, Procedural Parts, uh, Tweak Scale, and maybe a couple of other things. I've went crazy with the parts mods, and this is going to be my first video where I make a parts modded uh, craft of any kind. So I'm going to go for as accurate as possible. Here you see I've pulled out the procedural wings. These aren't very different from uh, the procedural wings in KSP2, which is uh, the reason why I got them. I played a little bit of KSP2. I promise there will be a video soon. I'm just having a lot of trouble running the game. Uh, if you know about the uh, Pump Sim Once era, you know about the Pump Sim Once era. It's it's brutal. But <laughs> anyway, uh, here I am working on the wings. Like I said, I'm going to go for complete accuracy, and I'm adding the Gal 8. And this is an actual Gal 8. This isn't some rigged together uh, kind of garbage Gal 8 like I made out of fireworks scans. I mean, it works, but this is an actual one. Like, it's literally called a Gal 8. That's from BD Armory. And uh, we're going to offset a little bit and uh, offset fuselage a little bit. Uh, I'm trying, like I said, to get it as accurate as possible. I had a bunch of A10 blueprints and stuff pulled up uh, on my other monitor. And I was just going back and forth, back and forth, trying to get everything perfect. Here I'm using Tweak Scale to tweak a uh, intake there to do the rounded off wings, which aren't quite as rounded off as I thought they were, apparently, because uh, I made them very rounded in my first video. Um, and here I'm using the uh, procedural parts, a procedural control surface, and uh, making my own custom control surfaces for it. Um, this is going to have a lot of control, and because the parts mods, uh, something interesting happened when I tested this, and it was actually, like, really, really aerodynamic compared to the, uh, the stock one, and I had a lot less uh, trouble with the uh, center of mass, center of lift problem that I had with the first one. It really made me wonder when I made the first fully stock one, how the heck the A10 even works uh, to begin with. And was it complete magic? But uh, with this, it worked a lot better. And you can see I'm making the tail. The tail was something I really, really struggled with, especially those vertical stabilizers and rudders there. Uh, absolutely sucked on the first one. Worked completely fine with the procedural parts. It was so easy. And something else I missed on the first one was I angled the entire engine nacelles down. They're not angled down on the uh, uh, actual A10. And that's because I was getting a lot of torque on the actual A10. The exhaust on the jet engines is angled down to counteract the torque, uh, I think by nine degrees. So uh, I've started angling the engines down on my uh, A10s. Um, here I'm doing the pave penny, I think it's called, the targeting system. I don't know this crap very well. I pulled up the Wikipedia page and stuck everything that, <laughs> that it said it had on it. Literally everything. I used all 11 hard points that the uh, A10 has. I've got cluster bombs. A, uh, six a a AMG Mavericks, two Hydra rocket pods, two Sidewinders, one JDAM, two iron bombs, and like I said, two cluster bombs there. And uh, yeah, it's it's fully loaded. Uh, more than several thousand pounds of uh, uh, munitions here. Uh, <laughs> so uh, here we are testing it out. And uh, here is the Weevil IFV sent in by Rebel. Send me your things to blow up I literally don't care what it is send me things to blow up and as long as I could load them into the game you will get featured in a video I will take out one of these A10s or something similar and blow the crap out of them if I can try to make one that I can't <laughs> uh, you can send those into the discord below but here we are making our first pass to the uh, with the cow eight I should say and uh, I actually managed to get a few hits in but this little this little IFV is tough I mean, it kind of flipped out of control, but uh, <laughs> we're going like almost like transonic with the uh, just the uh, Weasley engines on that, which was quite a surprise. But the Weevil has turned itself back over and is just going about its business. I put an AI pod on the back of this, <laughs> and so it's just kind of driving itself around. So we're going to come back in for another pass, get a look at all those heart loaded hard points there. We literally have three AMGs on each side on one of the hard points. Uh, so six all together uh, and I needed six because I'm very inaccurate with them and I didn't know how to use them here's our second pass and we completely missed every single shot <laughs> hey but we look cool in the process and isn't that kind of the uh, whole point of the a10 isn't it I mean this is kind of accurate to its performance it looks really damn cool but uh, <laughs> here we are doing another pass I'll let the AI fly the a10 there for a bit and uh, here is our final pass with the Gal 8. And uh, we got a few hits in there. Had to use some rudder and kind of 
drifted in, but the weevil is still going. This this little eye of is crazy. So we're us using the uh, targeting system that I stuck on the side, which uh, I'm calling a pave penny because that's what the A10 has, but uh, obviously I don't know that much about them, so I don't know if this is accurate to the way it works or anything. Um, but I actually figured out how to use it, and uh, you probably notice all, most of my mavericks are gone there, but uh, now I have actually caused one to hit. <laughs> Very surprising. <laughs> But as you can see, those are not to me. Those are not to be messed with. They completely destroy everything. <laughs> but uh, doing some little uh, victory flying around, and now we're going to have some fun with the other stuff on the bottom, just attacking the KSC. <laughs> so I'm going uh, to use the uh, targeting system again and shot a another Maverick down at the administration building, and I'm extremely surprised that it didn't blow up the administration building. <laughs> So uh, we just have a couple of uh, things left. Well, we have actually a lot, a lot of things left. But uh, I think I crash it after this uh, cluster bomb here, which get a load of that. I didn't do that in slow mo. It just put my game in slow mo for some reason. <laughs> So here is the stock A10 Warthog. I added Panther engines with the afterburner to keep up with the modded one because the modded one is so much more aerodynamic that the weevils, weevils, Weasleys just don't cut it. Um, so fully loaded with everything it had in the original video and we're going to go to try to go after the A10 uh, modded version. Um, the only issue with this dogfight is, uh, well not really the issue. Um, I turned off guard mode for the modded A10 because you'll see after this battle that the guard mode on the modded A10 just absolutely destroys me. So this A10 isn't the modded one that is, isn't trying to necessarily kill us as much as it's just trying to avoid us. Here I am launching my stock guided missile and uh, this thing can just cruise along and chase uh, whatever it's after for a very long time and uh, the A10 will actually uh, try to dodge this, the modded one will, um, and so they're going to have a little a, bit of a chasing battle going on while I'm chasing it in the uh, stock A-10 trying to get a hit in. So uh, here I come back in with the stock A-10 and we're locking onto our target and we're going to go, go try to uh, take it out with the Gow-8, the stock Gow-8 that is, aka a whole mess of Cal-1000s uh, and uh, firework uh, launchers. <laughs> So you can see the uh, cruise missile there, guided missile, whatever the heck you want to call it, chasing the A-10 that is done with stock that's just lock onto target and uh, it's doing it. You can see my galley actually has a very short range. Not sure why I did that, probably for lag reasons, um, so you don't have a bunch of uh, bullets just building up. But uh, we're, as we're trying to get into range to blow away the modded A-10, uh, which is uh, A-10 BDA I named it. <laughs> Uh, the cruise missile actually starts to get a little bit of a gain on the uh, on the modded uh, A-10 here, and you can see it pop in the screen here in a second. There it comes by, and it flies by, and manages to blow an engine off. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking it was just going to eternally, like, kind of weave and dodge around the uh, modded A-10 there and never actually get a hit, but it did land a hit. So now with the uh, modded ATN slowed down a little bit, we're actually able to catch up to it and hopefully get some shots in. You can see I'm zooming in. Um, I, I go into the cockpit view for dogfighting uh, because uh, it's just easier to aim from in there. I learned that from the last video with the PE-8 and the Messerschmitt. It's way easier to aim from the cockpit because you're getting a direct line of sight down the nose. And once you learn where the... Uh, bullets, the firework balls uh, that I use in most of my videos hit, uh, it gets pretty easy actually. So um, so I've been using just cockpit view for aiming. You can see I keep missing. <laughs> Talking about how easy it is to aim, it's still extremely difficult to aim without uh, something telling you where to aim. But we managed to get a direct hit on the back there and blow the front fuselage and the tail off, uh, completely shredding the modded uh, a10 with a stock A10 and here I do like a little victory thing of dropping all my munitions and firing all the rockets as this thing has which kind of shows you a good example of what it, uh, my stock one is loaded with but now we're going to turn on guard mode and that modded A10 turns into the most terrifying thing I've ever made you'll hear a little beep 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 
go off right there and then all hell breaks loose. 30 millimeter bullets flying at you uh, and a Sidewinder missile uh, directly hits me. And I tried my best in every way to defeat this thing before it got to me. That was actually one of my third or fourth tries. Uh, by the way, look at the uh, disembodied Galate just flying around shooting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here's another. Here's another round that I endured. You hear the little bell go up and then boom. Sidewinder hits you. I even turned the Sidewinders off at one point, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, that still that still didn't help me any. <laughs> so here's some extra bonus footage of a little uh, plane I named the Normalcy getting absolutely destroyed by the Gal 8 there. Uh, it, is, it is pretty formidable, at least in KSP, as a air-to-air -air weapon. Though I only know it has one air-to-air -air kill, which is like a helicopter in real life. So, uh, um, but uh, here's a F-18 trying to go after it. And uh, that's really all I have. This is just some bonus footage I thrown, threw in. If you have anything you want to send me, I will blow the crap out of it. Put it in the uh, Discord. I'll link it below. I'll have like a channel in the Discord that you can put all your craft files in there. I don't have Steam, so I only take craft files. That's the only thing I can use. I don't have... KSP through Steam, I should say. And if you really like the A10, check out my A10, my other cargoes burr sticker that I have. It's only $3 USD. <laughs>